Bit of jazz from the Benny Goodman band, Farewell Blues, in the time 9.16, and I'll be back in one minute with the story record. Meet Gordon Clark, one of the flight captains for North American Airlines. Captain, what are some of the reasons North American has become the nation's largest air coach system? Well, I believe dependability is the most important reason. North American's huge four-engine Douglas Skymasters are really dependable. Captain Clark, uh, aren't the same maintenance standards required of all commercial airlines? Yes, they are. And North American standards are higher than those of most airlines. You know, we've flown more than a billion passenger miles with a perfect safety record. No wonder more than half a million passengers have placed their confidence in North American, the airline that pioneered low-cost air travel. It costs less to fly on North American airlines than travel any other way. Fly to New York for only $80. That's $56 less than rail Pullman fare. On North American, it's only $70 to Chicago, only $80 to Washington, D.C., each way on round trip plus tax. For information, call Trinity 0711. That's Trinity 0711. <laughs> Well, I got a story record here this morning for you. It's kind of a beat up one, but it was sent in by Jack Elliott, so I'll, I'll read it. If you send them in, I'll read them. He says he went down, he went down to the beach the other day and saw a very peculiar sight. Here was this little fellow, a little skinny, timid, mousy little fellow, walking along the beach with his wife. And like Jack Spratt, his wife was just the opposite. She was a huge thing, menacing and overbearing. And the little fellow, although he was timid, was still a man and naturally wasn't one to look away from a well-turned ankle, as the fellows used to say. Well, bathing suits being what they are, he wasn't looking at any ankles, thank you. He was taking everything in. Every time a beauty would go by, he'd jump up and down and holler, Ooh, look there, old boy. But every time he'd do that, his big old wife would belt him right in the seat of the pants. This went on all up and down the beach. He admiring the bathing beauties and she smacking him a good one. I can just see him now. Ooh, take a look at that beautiful, wonderful, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. How my, did you ever see a wonderful a pair of a, ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Ooh, look there, ain't you pretty? Ow! Ooh, look at her, she's a beauty. I look at the hair, I look at the clothes, look at that face with the turned up nose. Ooh, look there, ain't that pretty? You know, she looks like a beautiful wax doll. And you are bound to fall. I like the dress, sure looks fine. Love that neck with that plungent line. Ooh, look at that, ain't she pretty? A wonderful a ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh. How my, did you ever see a wonderful a pair of a ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh? Talk about style with a capital S. Look at that smile, gotta say yes, yes. Look there, ain't she pretty? You know, she looks like a beautiful wax doll. And you are bound to fall. I like the face, I love those curves. Good for my heart, but bad for my nerves. Ooh, ooh, look there, ain't she pretty? Pretty and how hard of her when I look at her and go, ooh, ooh, ow. Jam Butler with a little story record sent in by Jack Elliott in the time 21 minutes past 9 o'clock. About time for us to whip on down to the hospitals right now and bring you all the Stork Report. Sleep, baby, sleep. <laughs> Hasn't, isn't anyone going to change that little rascal? At the Hollywood Hospital, to Mr. and Mrs. William Jameson was born little Jill, and to Mr. and Mrs. Stuart Swanson was born a son named Mark Wayne. Now to the Queen of Angels, and there we find that Mr. and Mrs. Eugene George are thrilled over Master Jeffrey Julian, and born to Mr. and Mrs. Richard Lubin, Miss Deborah Lynn. The California Hospital Stork Report reads, Mr. and Mrs. Vincent Haliwaha were... Ooh, they had twins, Alan and Mark. 
And now living with his parents, Dr. and Mrs. Edward Cook, little Edward Moody III. Congratulations to you all and welcome to the world, you little rascals. There'll be some changes made today. There'll be some changes made. Nobody can beat this deal on a new 53 Nash. But you must act fast for your $700 double bonus at your Nash bonus dealers. They have 500 bonus cars, and the factory says these cars must be sold by October 31st. Your Nash bonus dealers must give you a double bonus of up to $700 on any new Nash. They've got to go, so don't be slow. See your Nash bonus dealer today. Here are the names of two Nash bonus dealers you should see today. Hollywood Nash Incorporated, 6032 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood and Southeast Nash Incorporated, 2564 East Slauson Avenue in Huntington Park. Time in 15 seconds, 23 minutes past 9 o'clock. Here is a tune of June Valley's. It's a follow-up to her hit record, Crying in the Chapel, called Mystery Street. June, you know, is regarded as one of the biggest recording stars in the RCA Victor Pop label, and we feel that Mystery Street could become a very big number. Mystery Street, where is Mystery Street? There's no retreat once you're in Mystery Street. Thrills you will find there the day. Miss June Valley's recording of Mystery Street. You can pick that record up any time at Music City, Sunset and Vine. Those kids over there are open until 2 o'clock every weeknight, and on Sundays up until 6 p.m., Music City, Sunset and Vine. Now, a very important announcement. The first 10 winners in the Wonder Bar Refrigerette Contest, sponsored by the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Los Angeles, have just been announced. Mr. Raymond C. Cotton of Sunland is the first winner. Here come the rest of them. Mrs. Barbara Davies of Los Angeles, Mrs. Harry DeLong of Los Angeles, Mr. Victor Ehrman of Long Beach, Mr. Leonard Elliott of Los Angeles, Mr. R.P. Granger of Burbank, Mr. Martin A. Sklar of Los Angeles, Dr. D.A. Strickland of Los Angeles, Mrs. C.C. Von der Kuhlen of Beverly Hills, Mr. Peter W. Westberg of Santa Monica. And you can still win a Wonder Bar Refrigerate because this great contest has been divided into six weekly contests. The names you have just heard are the winners in the first weekly contest. 
Now, if you entered and did not win, will you try again? And if you haven't entered, you do so now. Complete details in every carton of Coca-Cola. Remember, the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Los Angeles is giving away ten Wonder Bars each week for the duration of this contest. Now, at 26 minutes past 9 o'clock, let's whip into a little Dixieland from Jimmy Dorsey. A little Panama from Jimmy Dorsey, and that's all the time they'll let us have around here. We've been at this record playing business since uh, 5.45 this morning, Hal Bender and I have. Don't forget now, stay tuned for Chef Milani, and also this afternoon, uh, Ira Cook at uh, 10.05, Johnny Grant this afternoon at 2.05, and tonight at 5, Bill Stewart. I'll be back tomorrow morning at 5.45 to play some more records for you. Till then, this is Dick Whittinghill thanking you all very much for listening. But now, if you'll excuse me. I'm walking out the door with you on my mind. I'm walking out the door with you on my mind. But every step away from you, I feel like crying.